Are you looking for a backup camera for your RV? Well, hang in there because I'm about to do a review of Halo View's RD7 Range Dominator System. That's what I'm fixing to show you. Hey y'all, I'm Cole and this is Younger Every Day. So basically we bought a fifth wheel, sold most of our stuff in Texas, packed up the kids and the dog and headed out. Now we're RVing full time and we're loving this crazy life. On this channel we take you on amazing adventures. We share tips and tricks for RV living and we do product reviews kind of like this one. So if you're new here, click subscribe to join the Younger Gang and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss out on any of the fun. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, you can click right up here to get caught up. Today I'm reviewing Halo View's RD7 Range Dominator system with 7 inch monitor. Halo View sent this out to us so we could check it out and give our honest review and share it with you guys. If you'd like to see me unbox this system or install it, you can click right up here to check out that playlist. Let's start off with the build quality of the components. Both the monitor and the camera are very heavy. In fact, I mentioned that in the unboxing, but as I sit here holding this monitor, you can tell it's primarily metal components. It's got a very good weight to it. It has a built-in sun shroud that helps with glare while you're driving down the highway. Also, the screen is anti-glare. It has a pretty significant system on back for mounting it. It's got a track, and then it comes with this mount that you can use 3M tape to adhere to your dash or to your windshield. It also has a U-bracket you can use if you have some kind of a mount on your dash that you can screw into and you can get a nice secure mount that way. It comes with two different options for installing it to your tow vehicle. I chose to use the 12 volt plug to power it and rely on myself to set up the monitor with the view I want to see whether I'm driving down the highway or using this as a security camera. The other option for installation is to use trigger wires to actually wire it to your vehicle's lighting system so that if you activate your blinker or your brake lights, you can change what camera shows up as the primary camera on your screen. It's a cool feature, but I didn't use it. We've been on the road for, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes, and I've got a little feedback about the RD7. So on the monitor, it feels a little choppy. Like the footage is not quite as smooth as I was expecting or as I would like. We'll continue to use it today and see. And then lastly, while I like being able to see our bike rack on the back, I think I'm gonna adjust the camera and see if I can't get a little bit better view of the vehicles behind me. Otherwise, I mean, so far it seems okay. It's got a nice bright screen. I haven't had trouble seeing it. It's been easy to kind of set it up and have it on the dash. We stopped for a minute and I went ahead and pulled up the menu and removed the parking lines from the monitor. I also saw there's some adjustability in there, so we'll play with that once we get to our next destination. In terms of the angle of the camera, I also got on the back and adjusted that a little bit. There may be a little more adjustment if I got an Allen wrench out, but I went ahead and swept the camera up just a little bit more. And when we were in a parking lot, I could see about two car parking space widths behind me on the monitor, plus still see my bikes. So that's you know kind of a compromise. I'm gonna play with it some more and see if we might be able to adjust it even more towards the vehicles behind us. But I just have to say, you know, with any camera that you can have on the back, and this one is no different, it is really comforting to see what's going on behind you while you're driving down the highway, when you're backing up, if you're in a parking lot, like we were at McDonald's, I had to back up a little bit and I can trust that I can see there's no one, no thing, no car, you know, behind me so that it's good. And the same is true for driving down a highway. You just have a peace of mind going, okay, I can see what's going on back there. If somebody runs up on me, I can see that. I recorded my initial impressions about the choppy feeling of the camera over three months ago. Since that time, I have had many opportunities to test and see if my impressions were right. They were wrong. In fact, I decided that I should grab a clip to show you just how buttery smooth this camera is. So check this clip out at night as we roll down the highway with street lights passing you can see the shadows of our rig moving from one part of the frame to the other perfectly smooth over and over again. And I think that's a testament to the great quality of this camera and monitor system. It's been a little while since I installed this Halo View backup camera and we've been over some very rough roads. So I wanted to show you how little it has moved on that magnetic mount. If you take a look up here, you'll see it is still in the same place. 
As far as I can tell, it hasn't moved at all, and it definitely hasn't fallen during our travels. And we have put it through some rough roads. Let's talk about the features. One feature that it's important to note is you can only access the menu from a full camera screen. You can't access it from a multi-cam screen. When we go into the menu screen, the first option is volume. To get inside, we'll click OK. Every sub-menu has a couple of choices. To choose between them, you click the arrow buttons to alternate. The lights up yellow, then you click OK to get inside. Once inside, you use the arrow buttons to adjust it. As you can see, I'm adjusting the volume right now. And you can hear our air conditioner running coming out of the speaker right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mute that back so we don't have to listen to it. The next menu is your picture. You can go inside there. You can adjust brightness, contrast, and the color of your camera to your liking. After that, we have the mirror feature. The mirror feature is really important because when I look at my monitor, I want to look at it as if I'm looking in my rear view mirror. So if I don't flip it right and mirror the camera, then it won't make sense to me as to what should be on the right hand side of the screen and what should be on the left. I'll point out, you can mirror left to right and upside down and right side up. Those are grayed out on the backup camera because those aren't optional there. You wouldn't want this flipped upside down. But when it comes to your side marker light cameras, you might want to do that based on how you install them. Q mode allows you to select the Q position in your camera view. What that does is allow you to make a choice of what cameras you see and how they are organized together if you have more than one camera. If you go into settings, you can set your date and time. You just use the OK button and then the arrows to adjust up and down and click OK as you change from year to month to day to the time in hours and minutes. And you can even adjust the seconds. The select key option allows you to choose which cameras are going to come up or options like Q or scan. This is the order it will cycle through the different cameras if you have multiple cameras when you are hitting select on your main monitor screen. The PAL NTSC option allows you to change what kind of settings you have for your video recording. The auto dim option allows you to turn that feature on or off. The auto scan sub menu allows you to decide which cameras will show up if you hit select all the way to the end of your monitor view from camera one, two, three, four, Q, all the way to scan. And the scan position will just rotate through whatever cameras you have and the scan time submenu will adjust how long each camera's picture stays on screen. As you can see on my monitor, I've already got parking lines. That is an option that you can turn on on any camera that you connect to this system. I've selected to turn it on on the backup camera, and then you can adjust them to make them look the way you want, whether closer or further away. So let's take a look at that. To adjust the parking lines, Go over to the parking line section on the menu, click OK to get inside. Then you can see we can turn them on and off. So I'm gonna click OK on parking lines. I'll move over here, turn it on. Now it's off if I want, or go one more time over to click adjust, click OK. I can move them right and left. And I can also move them kind of down or up. The record submenu allows you to determine what's going to happen with footage if you pop in a micro SD card. Cover will just write over that card when it's full. I have that on right now. Format will allow you to format the card. You always want to do that before you start recording. I hit the menu button. I'm going to use the arrow keys, which are also the brightness keys, to arrow over to record. Hit OK to go into there. Then I'm going to go down to format. Click OK to get into it. And click OK to stay on. So we're formatting the card. Little icon up here turned to yellow as soon as it was ready. The record submenu under record 
on off allows you to set whether or not you're recording all the time. So if you don't want to record all the time, you set that to off as I've done. Then while you're driving down the highway or while you're sitting around in your camper wanting to record what's going on, all you do is click OK on the monitor from your main camera view. If we go into the play menu, you can actually go and look at the files you've recorded and play them live on the monitor just like this. You can even hear the audio that the microphone picked up while we were driving down the highway. The last menu we're gonna look at is the pairing menu. When you go inside that, it allows you to pair each of your cameras. As you can see, we're looking at cam four right now, which is what our backup camera is paired to. If you add additional cameras, you hit select to choose different ones so you can pair. When you click OK, you have 20 seconds to go hit the pairing button on your camera. As I mentioned in our installation video, our camera was already paired to the monitor, so I haven't had to do that step. Overall, I really like the Halo View system. It gives me a great look behind the rig while we're going down the highway. I can use it for a security camera and see what's going on outside and hear what's happening when we're parked. And it has a very good picture. I really like the buttons that light up. When you get too much light, that display will actually turn off, which is pretty cool. And then if we go back up here, they're back on. Wanted to show you that it has infrared night vision, so you can see people around your trailer when you're parked in an RV park, and you can see vehicles or people approaching while you're driving down the highway or stopped to get gas. So that's my review of the Halo View Range Dominator system. Now I want to know, do you have a backup camera on your rig? If so, which one do you have and how do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. A lot of new rigs come with a pre-installed bracket that is prepped to receive the Furion system. The Halo View system is at a price point that's significantly lower than the Furion system, which makes it a great buy. Also, Halo View now has a system that can be connected to Furion's bracket. So if you have that on your rig, you should definitely take a look at Halo View's systems. I'll put a link in the description below for that. For those of you out there who are considering a backup camera and you're not sure which one to go with, be sure to come back soon because I'll have a comparison head to head between Furion and Halo View. And you can click right up here to check that out. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and let me know you liked it. Also, be sure to click subscribe and join the Younger Gang so you can become a part of our awesome community. Seriously, there are some great tips out there. So, checking out a new high quality backup camera system at a lower price point and sharing it with you, it's just another way we're living younger every day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.